RJ also not says, so I was wondering, what would the best way to start doing some computer programming stuff? I want to start, but I don't know where to start. Like do Java, C++, basic HTML. There's so much I don't know which one to start with. Depends on what you want to do, but I would recommend getting into web-based application development. Um, check out uh, Java's good, of course. I uh, don't know how long it's going to be around, probably for quite some time still. Uh, the big things are Android, iPhone, uh, those kinds of development platforms. Uh, consider downloading the Android SDK, looking into web development there. Uh, if you like websites and web development, there's lots of work to be done there. But you really want to get uh, proficient with something that is really being used in the business world. Uh, I do know that there is a heavy demand. <sighs> There's a heavy demand for freelancers right now for, for software applications like WordPress. And being very proficient with a tool like that right now and being able to go in and modify the HTML, PHP, and JavaScript and uh, the CSS files will make you very valuable as a freelancer. And also, WordPress, if you're into web development at all, WordPress can make you extremely flexible. It, basically, you could sit down and you could literally build websites from the ground up very, very easily, very quickly, very powerful websites that professionals could use that people were once upon a time spending ten, twenty thousand dollars to have made. That being said, uh, WordPress isn't something you should put all of your money into if you had, uh, what is it, all your eggs in one basket. Uh, if you're going to learn WordPress, you want to look into learning PHP, CSS, and HTML. Uh, obviously, start with HTML if you're going to do that. Work your way up to CSS after doing HTML. Then work your way into PHP. That's the direction you want to go in. There's a great uh, great website called w3schools.org or .com. I think it's .org. W3schools has tons of free tutorials for HTML, CSS, and I believe PHP now. They have all three. And then they got full lessons from the ground up. This is how you learn it. This is how you get started. As for programming languages, at this time, I would avoid, unless you're really hardcore into programming, I would avoid the procedural languages like C++ unless you actually want to be a in-depth scripting programmer, uh, and that's exactly what you want to do for a living. Uh, C++ and procedural languages are very limited because you're going to have to work with teams to make the software do what you want it to do. Uh, Java, of course, is object-oriented now, uh, so Java's a good choice. Uh, but really, it just depends on what you want to do, uh, and that's a big part of it, too. So uh, I guess I can't give you one way or another. What do you want to do as a career is kind of what you want to decide, or what, do you, what are you passionate about? Because that's what you're going to be good at. 